Hi guys, it's HBOT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're talking about the OnePlus 6 successor, the OnePlus 6T, because so many of you are asking for information. So that's exactly what we're gonna get to today. We're talking design, release date, specs, everything. Let's get straight to it. Now first off, if you're excited for the OnePlus 6T and want to be kept updated with all the latest information on the new smartphone, drop a like on the video to let me know. Of course, T variant is usually an incremental update from the standard version that OnePlus release every year. They generally just do the two flagship phones every year. And although the OnePlus 6 is really still only in its infancy, it was only released in May this year, already fans have been craving information on the T variant. So what has happened over the last week is that there has been a leak retail box with renders of the 6T. Now as you can see we're looking as I suggested in my previous video on the 6T we are going to see a water droplet-esque notch and while in my opinion it is still slightly less offensive than the standard notch that we've seen so many times this year it is still a little notch and there will be people that will still not like it and while I don't think that any notch is necessarily the best design it kind of looks okay. Whether they actually include the option to hide the notch like they did with the 6 I, I would very much doubt it with it only being that teardrop design but we'll wait and see also from this render as you can see and a big thing for a lot of people that have kind of been craving it the in display fingerprint sensor now this render is backed up by the image on the box of text which actually says unlock the speed this sounds very much like a slogan that oneplus would use as we saw on the oneplus 6 the speed you need and this would again play into the hands of a very quick in display fingerprint sensor now while the likes of samsung and apple have been sort of holding off using in display technology until they can get a 3d fingerprint sensor in place for added security more of a ultra sonic technology companies have still been using the in display fingerprint sensor the likes of oppo and vivo etc and the three of those companies tend to sort of share ideas anyway as they all are under the BBK umbrella. And if we actually look at the history of OnePlus as a company, they try and get as many top premium flagship features as possible whilst keeping the price right down. So they do cut corners in certain areas. And I kind of feel that if this is going to be an in-display fingerprint sensor, I very much doubt they would go with the 3D ultrasonic more secure setup because it would be more expensive to make. Having said that, the alternative technology for in-display fingerprint sensors has kind of been improving over the last six months to a year to the point where I'm pretty sure they they can get it almost as fast if not as fast as the standard fingerprint sensor that we see on the OnePlus 6 here. It would then open up the back to not need a fingerprint sensor so that they could actually have wireless charging because you'd still be able to unlock the phone whilst using the charging pad. I know you can obviously use the Face ID but having two different options to unlock your phone I personally feel would be a better option. Whether they do include wireless charging this time around is another question. Many people felt that they were going to with the last one because it included a glass back but the technology for wireless charging still isn't as fast as charging normally and therefore oneplus again have said unless it is going to make the user experience better we're not going to include it on the flip side they also say that they listen to the consumer and quite a lot of people did ask for wireless charging on the oneplus 6. another thing that a lot of people asked for was the ability to use a micro sd card it has been overlooked by oneplus for quite a few years for the benefit of in their opinion performance but they claim to listen to the consumer and there are thousands of people that were disappointed it wasn't included with the OnePlus 6 so it is possible they may change their thought process on this to appease the customer. Now we were just talking about wireless charging not being as quick as standard charging well along that line of thought we are led to believe that they will be introducing a even quicker version of Dash Charge borrowing technology from Voc Charge which has been introduced into some Oppo phones and OnePlus have actually filed a trademark application for the introduction of warp charge which again will be a rebrand of voc charge this will allow the phone to be charged up to 75 percent in 30 minutes up from 60 percent on the oneplus 6 which although on paper this technically isn't a game changer like i feel that dash charge actually was when it came out it certainly will be quite a big improvement and many people will be again a massive fan of that quickly going to jump onto release date now there has been very mixed signals from one plus themselves and from the just all-round rumor mill there's talk of an october release alongside t-mobile which will kind of be the first ever time that oneplus have a carrier in the us as a partnership they have had the likes of o2 for example in the uk but this would be another jump forward for the company if they were indeed making this happen it would also kind of work with the oneplus 6 t t-mobile no 
Now, usually we have a November release for the T variant. However, we also usually have a sort of June release of the original version. Now we saw the OnePlus 6 was actually brought out in May this year, which would technically mean they could bring it forward to October for the T variant, being five months again. But also we could see a November release and there's also even talk of a delayed release due to the fact that they are looking to introduce a 5G compatibility and a post on Weibo, which suggested that the calendar date of January the 15th was a mystery date to look forward to. If they did delay the release till then, it would disappoint quite a few customers, but on the flip side, it could actually allow them to jump forwards and possibly change the internals as well using the likes of the Snapdragon 855, of course, up from the 45 that we saw in the OnePlus 6. This would make them then one of the first to use, if not the first to use that new chipset putting again pressure on the likes of Samsung which usually are the first <coughs> which usually I'm sorry which are usually the first smartphone manufacturer really to come out with the new Snapdragon SoC every year if it is released this side of the turn of the year i.e in 2018 it will be running with the 845 Snapdragon with again options of either six gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM we'll probably see them same variants in the new year anyway even if they used a new SoC if you went more than eight gigabytes on a smartphone phone at this moment in time that would be ludicrous now i'm going to quickly talk price this is definitely more prediction than fact but i personally can't see oneplus delivering a smartphone more expensive than the oneplus 6 due to the fact that we have seen the likes of the xiaomi poco phone f1 which kind of has the same internals as the oneplus 6 and comes in at in certain regions the equivalent to 300 us dollars even in certain regions where it's slightly more expensive it is still cheaper than the oneplus 6 so if they were to then price hike again Again, just for an in-display fingerprint sensor etc that to me would be a real problem for their consumer base and in the long run their brand identity as a whole now we're going to jump onto camera although the oneplus 6 camera is very good and you'll see that in my oneplus 6 versus samsung note 9 camera comparison review which is coming very very soon i feel if they up the camera just a tiny bit i think that would be a real game changer there is talk about a three camera setup like we've seen on the huawei p20 pro for example this would again be more expensive to make and if they're trying to not price hike I'm not sure whether they will input three cameras, but this is one of the big rumors. And when the T variant launches, I'd be very surprised if they didn't introduce Android Pie straight from the box. As soon as there's more information, as always, I will let you guys know. Let me know what you are most excited about with the OnePlus 6T out of some of the stuff that I've talked about today or anything else that you've heard that you're very excited about and you want to see in the new OnePlus 6T. Between now and the release, I will be updating very regularly. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful and like information on the OnePlus 6T, then drop a like on the video and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel. Pretty much daily tech content here. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Says so your peace out. <laughs>